is a um, this is a gas furnace which is uh, designed to uh, put out about 80% of its capacity into the house. 20% it goes up the chimney. But to determine if a furnace is efficient or not, a lot of times we have to what we call clocking the meter, where we use a gas meter over here. This gas meter uh, set up uh, in a way to measure the volume of gas in cubic feet. And they have different uh, dials on it, and the dials are used to measure different capacities. Starting with the very largest dial, of course, uh, for residential, we would never use that. It's for a million cubic feet. It may be a lifetime before this dial actually move over one. But let's go all the way through. You can see it dropping down to a thousand, all the way down to two cubic feet, down to a half a cubic feet. Typically, to determine if we're going to uh, clock a meter to find out the capacity in cubic feet, we use the half foot meter because this is a, a revolution that we will probably see. And a cubic foot of gas, it is a thousand BTUs per cubic feet. So if we're going to clock a meter, we're not going to stay there for an hour and clock the meter to see how much it would burn in one hour. So what we would do is use a stopwatch or a watch with a second hand so we can measure a predetermined amount of time to see how much uh, the, the meter will move and use that as a measurement. So we're going to start up the piece of equipment and the furnace and we're going to notice uh, these dowels move. Probably the only one we're going to notice will be the the half foot dowel which is only reading a half a cubic foot every um, minute as it goes through. So we're going to clock it and see what happens. Now, there's a half foot dial, two feet, a thousand feet, ten thousand, one hundred thousand, and a million. And the equipment about to start, and we will notice as it's running. Now, we can use this for very small furnaces, even up to very large. The equipment just started, and we just saw the half foot dial operating. And to do this, we need to be very accurate. We want to use a second hand on this. When it gets to 12, we want to start the timing, see how many revolutions it makes. So just start it at 12, and it's moving. And this furnace, it's a very small furnace, so it's not going to really produce very much, but it will be able to recognize how much uh, gas we use in a predetermined amount of time. So as we run this, it's about 25 seconds and it moved probably about a quarter of a full turn. The main thing about clocking a meter, you have to be very accurate. Precise amount of time in seconds and a precise number of revolutions for every dial of turn. So far it's almost one full turn and one minute. down to last three seconds. Now we stop there. It had made about a three-quarter turn from the beginning. Since it's a half cubic foot, a half cubic foot is 500 BTUs. 500 BTUs in a minute. So all we need to do is multiply that the number of minutes in an hour and that will give us the total capacity of this furnace.